Hey everyone, this is Brett from Link Digital, and um, today I'm going to start the um, series of uh, videos to show um, a simple uh, Docker development environment, um, and I'm going to create a new uh, CCAN extension um, and show you how easy that is in a very simple setup that I'm running on my Mac OS um, machine. Um, so it should be pretty straightforward. Um, let me let me get started. Um, so I have a like a work Devon directory that has nothing in it other than a um, a previously a pre cooked um, extension that I've sort of saved off and will use as a, as a reference. But I shouldn't need to look at it. I actually I will need to look at it um, when I'm making my changes. But um, so let's get started. The first thing I need to do is, um, and I have a series of instructions here that I've made on my other screen that you can't see, but um, you'll be able to see the instructions as I, um, as I actually use them. Okay, so the first thing we do is we want to download um, the, uh, the Docker, the official Docker repo, um, the CCAN Docker repo, and we do that with a git clone. And that will create a directory called ccan-docker. And um, I was going to change that actually to so I know exactly what I'm doing um, later if I come across this directory. I'm going to call it ccan-docker-pigeon. Now, pigeon I've used as a name just so I can kind of tag a um, like an extension. Um, just makes it easier to have for me to have something that's not test or not new or not hello world or something like that. But it, all it is is just a way of kind of tagging a fairly generic um, extension. So I have my CCAN Docker pigeon directory. I'm going to go in there. And the first thing I do is I want to. Um, because this is a development environment, we're going to be doing everything within the development uh, images, and um, we're going to create um, which in the compose the development compose file, um, which is different to the normal kind of base kind of production, for want of a better word, um, name. Um, so the first thing I do is I want to. Update the .env file, the environment file that Compose uses, and I want to um, update the um, the site URL because it's set to the the base um, uh, Docker install, and we don't want that. We want the development. And this just makes it a lot easier when you when we're zipping around the um, the actual application within the browser. So I'll save that off. And first thing we do is we want to build the local containers. Uh, sorry, the local images, and um, we use. So notice how here we're we're running Docker Compose. We are specifying a different file than the the normal um, YAML file for Docker Compose, which is docker-compose YAML. So we're using a kind of a special development one called dot dev, and we're going to run just the build which we've done. Um, that has built all our images. So we can uh, let's just not see that. Um, so let's run. So we're going to up the containers based on the local images that we've built and images that exist in Docker Hub if we haven't built them locally. And there's a couple of those. Um, now, what I'm going to do as well is I have another screen here. And... that uh, work div 
and I'm just back into the same directory. I'm going to run, you're going to be looking at a lot of VS Code screen, which um, is the environment that I work in. Um, and so we're going to just bring up a VS Code screen here. Actually, I'm going to go into this directory first, uh, new directory, and run that. So let me drag that across so you can see it. And get rid of the welcome screen. So here we have um, that directory structure um, in VS Code. Now, if we go to the Docker extension, we see the, um, the running containers. And we just want to make a quick check of the log files here. And um, put me up here just to see that it kind of came up OK. Um, so yeah, there's no errors. It builds everything OK, starts the development um, script and it seems to be running. OK, so I'm happy that that actually works. Now, I'll drag that screen across again, and because we're going to be doing something on the on the command line here. Um, so we're going to actually generate the, this new extension um, from my host, which is a Mac OS box, and we're going to be actually outputting the extension uh, directory structure into the running CCAN dev container, and the command is this. So we're running Docker Compose. We're using the um, Docker Compose dev YAML file. We're executing on the CCAN dev container um, a shell script, what well, uh, a shell rather that takes that runs this command, which is the normal. Well, one of the methods to generate an extension, a CCAN extension, and our output directory is slash SRV slash app slash source extensions, um, and which is local, sorry, which is um, on running on the container itself. So let's just run that and I'll show you what it looks like here. So. The first thing we do with all um, generation of extensions using um, CCAN generate extension is we need to give it a name and we know what that name is. And we're going to start it with um, CCAN EXT for CCAN extension dash pigeon. Now the author's name, um, I'm going to be called single pigeon, named after the, the wings song. I don't know if there's many Wings, Paul McCartney's band from the 70s fans out there, but um, there's a great song called Single Pigeon. I'm kind of basing a little bit off that. Um, okay, so Single Pigeon has an email address and it's spigeon at pigeon.com. And you know that um, you can put anything in here. Um, you could have username, um, we're not really going to worry about it. Well, we do have to put something in, but we don't really have to use anything that's, um, that's real. And I don't know, tear pigeon tech guy. And description of the project, um, CCAN extension. And we're not going to put any keywords in here. So, and we want to include code examples. And we'd run that. And it's actually, so that says that it wrote the files into the correct directory, which is running on the um, CCAN dev container. So what we can do now is we can drag that across 
drag the VS Code across, put me up here, and I'm going to get a, a shell, oops, I need to do that, I need to, I'm going to run a, a, a shell um, on the running CCAN dev container, and um, see it automatically, automatically puts me into the slash SRV slash app directory, and um, we see that there's a src underscore extensions um, directory. So if we go in there, um, we cd cd into there, and we see this is where the ccan pigeon directory structure is located. Um, let's go down there, and we can see what it has done. Um, so it looks like it installed the extension fine. Now, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you um, now the com Docker Compose file that we use now in this file, which is different to the to the to the base production Compose um, platform is that we have a bind mount here which is is a mapping a direct mapping of a file system on the host machine which is my mac os machine to this directory here um, so that means that whenever there's something that's put in into this directory in the running container it also exists in the source directory on my host machine um, and we can see that. So if we go into source directory, we set, see that we also have a CCAN ext pigeon directory, which means that we can um, make changes into the um, this directory structure like code changes in this directory structure that will be reflected automatically in the running container um, so I'm going to run another VS code screen here and we see that get rid of the welcome screen we see that we have um, that directory structure set up here um, looks good okay so I'm going to drag that across there I will use that screen again and show you stuff but I don't need to see it now um, next thing we do is we okay so we have the uh, extension um, files located um, on the host and on the running container now the next thing we do is we need to now, we need to kind of activate the, this extension. Um, now, to do that, one of the things we need to do um, is we need to update the .env file, which is the environment file for Docker Compose. And we want to add So we have this uh, ccan underscore underscore plugins in, um, parameter name and we have a list of all the um, parameter values which is the extensions that are set up for this um, ccan container. Now we're going to add, we're going to add pigeon here, that's it. And we save that off. Um, now, the next thing we do is we want to stop our containers. And we want to so let's stop the containers now we want to remove the containers and, and I use this command down and so that actually just removes the um, actual containers that are that are that are there stopped 
Um, and I will also um, I will also remove the volumes that we had. Uh, just it's just a good practice to do that. Unless you want that data, of course, to be kept. Right. Now, um, next thing we do is we just restart everything up. Um, so we want to build everything again. Just building the local images that are, or just the secant dev image in this case. Now we want to um, up the, the system, up the containers. And with a bit of luck, we should find that the pigeon extension is now activated. It's not going to do anything, but it is activated. So we could make changes in there and it will be reflected through into the running CCAN container. Um, let's just see if there's any errors. Just see if it actually comes up. The extension, that is. Okay, so it looks like it's installing it now, right? Adding CCAN X to Pigeon. Yeah, that's fine. And look, here's the plugins getting loaded and Pigeon is included in here as well. So wait for that, wait for the CCAN container to come up. So it's doing this kind of database uh, install now. Basically, we're waiting for it to say that it's kind of listening on uh, local uh, port 5000. That's running the order pre run. And here, this is what we're after. We're after CCAN running. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to just just to check again. It looks like um, uh, the pigeon extension was installed correctly, but there's another there's a, another way to actually show that, which um, I kind of use as a kind of gold standard on um, to make sure that it's running. So we should we should see so all the CCAN log file output as we get that there. So what we do. Now, as we want to access um, API slash action status show is already there. So status show is kind of showing the status of um, of our environment. And what we're after here is we're after it's just this. Um, this JSON output is just showing um, the, num the extensions that are loaded, which and the version of CCAN we're running, which is important, of course. And we notice that the pigeon extension is there. And so that looks good. I'm happy that um, we've, I've shown you the, a, a kind of a development environment that is local because of the bind mount between um, a file like a directory on my local machine and the running container. So changes that I can make in there should be reflected straight away. So that's a really, really easy way, I think, to use a CCAN Docker environment and do local development. Um, so in the next series of videos, I'll show you what we can actually do with um, this new um, uh, Pigeon uh, CCAN extension. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.